Hello everybody, sorry for the A, lateness, and B, the no episode last week, uh, yesterday, on Monday, I went out with some friends to watch My Hero movie, so uh, that, that's what I was doing, and to be honest, other than that, uh, I completely forgot to record the episode, and I was like, it's too late. But if I did record it, it would have been too late by the time I had realized it after Monday. Because by the time I realized that I forgot to record the podcast, it was Wednesday. But uh, anyway, here we are. Uh, it is slightly late again. But don't worry, it's fine. It'll always be on Monday or Tuesday, guys. It, it's completely fine. Now, this is going to be a different one. But, before we actually get into it, hello everybody and welcome to the important but unimportant news podcast. I'm the host, Beers Rock, and that is enough of the intro. We've got one pretty large article, but before we get into that, uh, I'm going to give you all a couple tips about what to do during this quarantine, social distancing that we're experiencing right now, thanks to the coronavirus. Step one, don't leave the house. Now, this is obvious. Like, some places are even, like, locked down by the government. So, you can't leave the house even if you wanted to, unless it's, like, for something important, like grocery shopping or something like that. Hospital, maybe. If you, if you do get infected with it, you can go to the hospital, I believe. I don't see why you would be denied the hospital, but you know. And then step two. Uh, just, again, don't go outside, please. If you're not going out for something important, just please do not go outside. Uh, there are a couple reasons to not go outside other than the coronavirus. Uh, one of the reasons being people are dangerous that is more true now than uh, it's probably ever been in my lifetime uh, people are dangerous don't go near them even if they're your family Just don't stay away five feet five feet away from your family members from everyone clarification five feet away from everyone remember that second reason why you don't want to go outside uh, well there's nothing open I mean, sure, like, stuff like Walmart, grocery stores are open, but, uh, you shouldn't need to be going to Walmart, Target, grocery stores, unless you are out of food, because then you need to, like, leave the house to go get more food. So, I know that's, like, the only time you should be going out. Uh, step three for... Uh, staying inside and whatnot. Find a really good show, anime, something like that to watch, or find a game to play. Uh, so a couple, couple good TV shows you can watch. Uh, Castlevania. It's on Netflix. Uh, that, that's it. That's all the TV shows I got. But anime. Well, there's High School DxD. There's Infinite Stratos, but only the first season. There is a fairy tale. There is uh, no guns life, uh, there, and a bunch more. Look it up on YouTube. You'll find a bunch of anime. Be like anime OPs, and you'll find a bunch of animes. I mean, you'll find their openings, not not their actual episodes, but you'll be able to find out what animes you want to watch from the openings and like the artwork and whatnot. At least, I I do. And then games, you can play games. If you've got an old console lying around, or a new console lying around, if you're a gamer, like, uh, like a cool gamer, you got a PS4 maybe, Xbox One, PC, like a pretty good PC for gaming, you can just sit back, relax, and play games. You can, I'm sure everyone in life has a backlog of games that they want to play, even if they aren't gamers, because they'll be like, Hey, I played this one game as a kid, and I really wanted to play it and, like, finish it. 
but I never got the chance because it was like on my friend's gaming system or whatever. So I'm sure everyone has at least one game in their backlog, even if they aren't gamers. But for us gamers, uh, we have a big backlog all the time. It never goes away. Tragic, I know. So that's step three. Step four, uh, learn learn that you don't need to go outside every day. No, that's not a good step four. I'm winging this, by the way. Step four. Uh, work out at home. You don't need to go out to work out. You don't need to go to the gym. You can do workouts at home. You need to do squats, push-ups, sit-ups. You can, like, get water bottles. Like, oh, sorry. You can get, like, a water jug and lift it. Easy. Easy workout. Now, you probably won't be able to do pull-ups unless you've got, like, really sturdy doors. Like, the door frames. And also large door frames. So you can actually, like, grip it well. But, uh, just work out at home. You don't need to go to the gym. Also, you gotta keep your body in tip-top shape if you're not going out. Because when you go out, your body will get tired from walking and whatnot. So just keep your body in tip-top shape, and once, you'll be, once you're allowed to go back outside, your body will still be in good condition. Going out and walking around is actually more workout than people might think for like jobs and whatnot. So make sure to keep your bodies all tip-top, shipped up, and strong. I think that's everything. Uh, that sounds about everything. Also, if you're looking for a game to play for Step 3, uh, World of Warcraft currently has a 100% experience boost going on. It's, last, it's going to last for a month until April 20th. It started on March 20th. So if you've ever had any interest in WoW, get into it now. Because it is so easy to level up characters right now. And if you already play WoW, and you've got a lot of alts you want to level up, now is a good time to get back into WoW and level up those alts, like what I'm doing. It So made it, I have a hunter. I started about like level 24 when I started playing him again and it took like I think uh, five hours in total to get him up to 62 I think that's what he's at right now it could be 63 but that's with heirlooms and the 100% exp boost leveling is very fast right now if you're a tank Spam those dungeons. If you're a healer, spam those dungeons. DPS, well, you can do the thing that you usually do. Quest and dungeon queue while you're questing. Tanks and healers don't get to do that. They get the luxury of instant queue pops because their roles are uh, less or played by other people. But that is it for the step-by-step -step process of what to do during isolation, quarantine, social distancing, whatnot. And uh, let us get into this article. Now, I wanna show this article because it is actually like pretty important. Well, I say important. We all know that's not true. Because this is, this is unimportant news podcast that is actually important. So, here it is. I gotta, gotta fix that. There we go. Famous museums and attractions are offering free virtual tours. Now, I haven't taken a look at this myself. My dad sent me an email about this. And here I am presenting it to you. You can view museums and attractions for free. And you don't even have to leave your house. You can visit a museum all the way across the world if you wanted to, for free, virtual tour. It'll be great. I'm gonna do this later, 
today, as in uh, after I go to sleep and after I wake up. And uh, the first one I'll probably do is the NASA one. I took a look at it earlier. There was a uh, NASA, 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 NASA. Where is the NASA? There it is. There's a NASA thing. So, let's read out this article, shall we? The effects of social distancing have felt many feel have left many feeling well a little stir crazy. That is for sure. Where did all the toilet paper go, guys? I wonder. Though we all try to stay busy by keeping active and working from home during the COVID-19 outbreak, it's easy to fall into a rut. That is true. Thankfully, really, this is make this is making me feel even better because people are not getting mad at me for not leaving the house anymore. It's like, yeah, good job not leaving the house. Also, my friends and family are making jokes about how I have been training for this my whole life by self-quarantining and social distancing and whatnot. So that's funny. Luckily, there's more than one way to stave off boredom while staying indoors. Like I was talking about earlier, TV shows, games, anime, working out, but just stop reading books. I forgot to mention that. Although if you don't have any books, please do not go out to buy books. Just get like ebooks or something. That'll be easy. Instead of binging the best of what Netflix has to offer for the second time. <laughs> it's funny. It's time to broaden your horizons with some virtual tours. Walk, quote unquote, through some of the world's most prestigious cultural institutions like the Met and the American Museum of Natural History. Then go for a ride on Disney's new Frozen roller coaster with the kids. And regardless of your age, we think everyone will enjoy some live footage of pandas playing at the zoo. Live footage of pandas. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Panda cam. Panda cam. It's the panda cam. The pandas aren't there. No! <laughs> it's too... It's nighttime. They aren't there. Damn it. I should have expected this. And these people aren't live. Oh well. The zoos probably aren't live all the time because, you know, animals sleep and whatnot. But, all of these other ones are virtual tours. The zoo's got live camps so you can see, like, animals at the zoo. The panda camp, the panda camp is very, very important to me. I'm, I'm just, you know what? You know what? I'm going to bookmark this. This is getting bookmarked. Panda cam. All caps. Now, now uh, let's take a look at... Hmm. Alright, this one. Oh. I'll go with Ohio's Glen Research Center first. Uh, is this gonna be like? I wonder how this. Oh, higher speed regions of flight. It is NASA's only transonic wind tunnel. Actively involved in research testing for over seven years. Mach point one, and from Mach point two six to to two zero. Oh. What? That's a demonstrative model. This looks very nice. Oh, it's a 360 degree. Oh, I don't like how it's inverted. This... Can I... Can we get a video of it playing? No. No is the answer to that. That is very unfortunate. 
that's what you can expect from NASA. Just being able to uh, go around, look at all the stuff. Very interesting. I could have a freaking ball do going around doing this. I got the you know, flag, seven and a half tons. That's a very heavy bar. I wonder what this is. See, it looks like some kind of laser machine, but it's probably some type of engine. Got a bunch of desks over there. Is this like the designated spot for the person holding the camera? Is that what this is? Why is this here? What is this for? Who knows? Alright. That's enough of them looking at NASA. Uh, and you know what? You know what? We'll take a look at Walt Disney World. I'm sure a lot of people like Disney World for whatever reason. Oh, we got a bunch of people with censored faces on here. Oh, sweet, I don't have to decensor them myself. This this will be fun. They've got the entire uh, Disney place on Google Street View. Now, this happened earlier this month, like the beginning of this month. So, A, if you want to plan out your uh, path for Walt Disney World, it's on Google Street. You can just go there, plan it out. And B, if you don't want to go to Walt Disney World and you just want to look at all the cool stuff that's there, this is a good way to do it. Instead of like getting pictures of it off of like social media or something. Because you could go to whatever you want there and like look at it, all look, go all around it, look at it. It'd be really nice. So, that is the only article we pretty much have. I had other articles prepared, but they kind of got closed when I restarted my computer, which is uh, very annoying. Because they were pretty funny. But, oh well. Maybe I'll find them next week. But, with all that said, that is going to be it for the podcast for today. To all those that came, to all those that listened, thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you all next week for the next episode of the Important But Unimportant News Podcast. I will see you all later.